Good day. Is this Todd Chrisley? It is, Valdra. Good morning. How are you? I'm having a fabulous life, Todd Chrisley. Thank you for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas. <laughs> Thank you for having me. Well, you are just the rage of TV today, and I'm so excited to talk with you about your show. Tell me a little bit about your show. Set the platform in case my, someone in my listening audience doesn't know, but I think everybody knows. <laughs> um, our show is based on our family, um, my wife, Julie, and my five children and two grandchildren, and the things that we go through every day, which I believe are very relatable based on what you know, many other families in this country are, are dealing with. Todd, I know wealth accumulation is what we're about, but you seem very wealthy. You seem like you didn't have a need like most of the people who are trying to get to be uh, bigger and better than they are. Why did you consent to do the show? You know, I was working with a with someone that said, you know, that would always say, "Hey, you guys need to have your own television show. You run your family kind of like a business, and you know, everyone has has their place and knows what they're supposed to be doing." And you're funny about it. And I never felt like I was funny. Um, so just to appease Annie, the young lady that I was working with, she, I agreed to do a sizzle reel. And at that point, uh, the, they came and shot the sizzle reel and um, put it out to 10 different networks. And we, got 10, we received 10 offers. So um, at that point, I felt like, well, you know, maybe there, is, maybe there is a message here. But no, I did not do it for the financial gain. Um, you know, we're opening up several new businesses, and we actually I agreed to do it um, because of the, the marketing aspect of it. What do you do for a living that allows you to take time from your business to do this? I'm not taking time. I'm still doing my businesses. Um, you know, we have, uh, my wife and I have several businesses, but, uh, which all basically, you know, revolve around real estate. Well, that gives you a great platform. So do you feel good about letting people know about your life? I think you're a great father. That's just my personal, because people don't parent anymore. Right. They just, everybody's trying to be your friend, and I don't understand that concept. Well, but you in, still parent. <laughs> well, Valder, you and I can be friends, but uh, I'm not <laughs> interested in being a friend with my children. Um, when the good Lord gave me my children, it was for me to raise them. It was for me to bring them up as I would like for them to go out into the world and act and behave and do. Um, and I don't think you get that from a friend. And, you know, as I've always told my children, get your friends at school, but I'm your dad morning, noon, and night. So, um, and I didn't have my children for you to raise or anyone else in the village to raise. No one wants to deal with someone else's spoiled child, you know, out here behaving badly. And it's a, it's a reflection on the, on the parenting or the lack thereof that's going on at home. Very well said. Very well said. You've got two specials coming up. The se well, you got the season finale and a Christmas special. Correct. Uh, or a special, I'm not sure. Tell me, what, what, tell me what's going on, what we can expect. Um, you know, our season finale is, you know, is mine and my wife Julie's anniversary. And then, you know, we have a Christmas special that's coming up that really is a wonderful, wonderful Christmas special. Um, it involves, you know, a lot of the outtakes that you didn't see um, in, in the first 12 episodes. And we're all having a really good time as a family, you know, do, you know putting that season special together for you. One of the things that we see about you that you are a, I would say, a spiritual man. I'm not going to say religious man. I am but a we religious don't see man. You. Okay, great. Uh, thank you for accepting that title. <laughs> but one of the things we don't see too much on TV is people who do reality shows uh, uh, connecting with their faith, not unless it's really just that's what it's supposed to be. Can you tell me why? Um, you know, I, I grew up in, in, in a very small rural town in South Carolina, and, you know, I was brought up in the church. And it's very important for me that my children have that, a, a very similar life, you know, a very similar lifestyle. And, you know, my wife's father's a Southern Baptist minister, so my wife certainly knows, knows the book better than I do. But it's very important for me to have something that I can truly go to when everything else around me seems to be in question or falling apart or what have you, the consistency of my faith is something that doesn't change. I like that. And so you don't try to make a buck off of God. I really like that. I do not. I do not. I'm going to, you know, I, I give everything. I give praise to the good Lord above for everything that I have, for every blessing. And, you know, for, you know, I, I live my life that if the Lord can lead you to it, he'll lead you through it. I like you so very much. We watch you. 
my team watches you. So thank you for gracing the Valder BB Show. Tell me again when you want us to watch your special and on what network? Um, we're on USA Network, which we're so blessed to be there. And, you know, our show airs on Tuesday nights at 10 p.m. I want to thank you so much. And one of my producers, Christian, made me promise to tell you thank you. And she says she loves your show. Kristen, thank you so much. And Valder, thank you for having me this morning.